Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to the first part of 14th lecture of Statistics and Probability Theory. In previous lecture, we have studied multivariate hypergeometric distribution. Multivariate hypergeometric distribution was the extension of hypergeometric distribution. Hypergeometric distribution possesses the four properties in which the first property was each outcome of the experiment is classified as uh, two possibilities success and failure. Experiment is repeated a fixed number of times and uh, each successive trial is dependent and probability of success changes from trial to trial. The difference between the hypergeometric distribution and multivariate hypergeometric distribution is that hypergeometric distribution has two possible outcomes whereas multivariate hypergeometric distribution can have more than two possible outcomes. Topic of this lecture is negative binomial distribution. Let us consider an experiment where the properties are the same as those listed for a binomial experiment. As you recall the properties of the binomial experiment, they were uh, that number one was the experiment has two possible outcomes which uh, classified as success and failure. Experiment is repeated a fixed number of times. Each successive trial is independent and probability of success remains constant from trial to trial. So these are the four main properties or you can say assumptions of the binomial experiment with uh, with the exception that the trials will be repeated until a fixed number of successes occur. So here the difference is occurring uh, between the binomial experiment and negative binomial experiment that all the properties will remain the same except that all trials uh, that the trials will be repeated until a fixed number of successes occur. So this statement gives us the indication that the number of trials will not fix. Therefore, instead of probability of x successes in n trials where n is fixed, uh, in the case of the binomial distribution, we are now interested in the probability that the kth success occur on the x trial. So, the difference between the binomial and negative binomial experiment is that uh, now we are in interested that we should have kth success on the x trial. Experiments of this kind are called negative binomial experiment. Properties of negative binomial distribution. For each trial, there are only two possible outcomes and failure the same as binomial distribution and uh, the number of trial n are not fixed whereas in binomial distribution the number of trials are fixed the trials are independent the outcome of trial is not affected by the outcome of any other trial the probability of success which we usually denote it as p is constant from trial to trial. So these are the four main properties of the negative binomial distribution uh, and the difference between the binomial distribution and negative binomial distribution is that the number of trial n are not fixed. Probability mass function of negative binomial distribution as it is the discrete, bin, uh, discrete distribution so, if repeated independent trials can result in a success with probability p and 
affiliates with probability q as we already learned this in binomial distribution then the probability distribution of the random variable x the number of the trial on which the kth success occurs is probability of x is equal to small x is equal to x minus 1 combination or you can say x minus 1 c k minus 1 c raised to power k q raised to power x minus k where x is equal to k now this is the difference name uh, usually in the case of binomial distribution we started from the 0 1 2 3 up to so on n but now in the case of negative binomial distribution and for this particular probability math function as it is defined for the k successes so x will be equal to k k plus 1 k plus 2 up to so on where x represents the number of trials k represents the number of successes p represents the probability of success q represents the probability of failure so this is the basically the uh, probability mass function of the negative binomial distribution. In negative binomial distribution, we will do the experiment or we, we will do the trials for the experiment until we get the required successes. Let's say that you will toss a coin until you get three heads. As you know that uh, outcome of the tossing a coin would be head or tail so if they make a restriction that uh, uh, you will toss a coin until you get three heads so what you will do you will keep tossing the coin until you get the required successes so this is the negative binomial distribution whereas in binomial distribution what you do, you simply toss a coin and there would be two outcomes. Uh, one is uh, mentioned as success and second one would be the failure. But in the case of negative binomial distribution, you will keep uh, doing the, uh, you will keep performing the experiment uh, or the trial until you get the required successes.